So here's climate reanalyzer. Um, this is interesting to do. We can go to hourly forecast maps <coughs> and global 10 day <coughs> and go to Arctic and this is precipitation and pressure and we can see what's going to happen. So right now we've got two low pressure systems just to the north of Greenland. This one is showing 998 millibars and this one is showing 994 millibars. So the lower the number the more destructive the storm can be and so if we run the movie we'll, we'll see <coughs> it's a 10 day and we can see the date up here and then the picture down here so it's headed it's like they they keep forming um, in the Barents Sea and keep keep coming across one right and here's one in the Kara Sea now where is it going that's on the 31st here's another one coming down and across <coughs> so it's one right after another it looks like that just keeps forming and coming through. Now we are in the height of the melt season and traditionally the, the melt season ends around September 20th. But we've seen these and then it starts refreezing as the sun starts setting up there. But we've seen for the last couple of years that it continues to melt into October because of the, the the warm temperatures of of the water and it's melting from beneath too <clears throat> so it's hard for for the ice to refreeze So according to this model, we've just got storm after storm coming through. And it goes through September the 2nd, this model does. So it could, it could really tear up what's left of that thick sea ice, especially what's like right here to the north of Greenland and up to the North Pole and this is Ellesmere Island and so the thickest ice is right in here <coughs> just north of Ellesmere and coming out so we'll see what happens this week so there's that So this is uh, Earth Null School uh, for today. So these winds are 55, 50, 50 uh, kilometers per hour. <coughs> Let's just have a look. <coughs> and this is uh, 1,000 hectopascals, 992. So it's not that uh, extreme a storm yet but let's just go and have a look um, okay so that's going forward to the uh the 26th and the 27th
Okay, so it's lasting a few days. Uh, so together with rain and already thin um, ice, let's see what it's doing here. A thousand hectopascals at the pole. 